Been crafting for how long? Um, well, I'm an only child, um, so, <laughs> so that explains. So it. yeah, so I was always making stuff. I had to make my own fun. So at family dinners, I'd be the one. I'd make. I'd make menus for the dinner. I'd make the centerpiece, and I'd, I'd put on a wow. show before the dinner. So I was. I was doing it all. You're you, so creative. Your dad was in the Air Force, so you Air traveled Force, all yeah, over the yeah, world. Yeah, we traveled a lot. Yeah, which is yeah. so cool. Yeah, Absolutely. it was cool. Yeah. You sent us one of the cutest videos ever. Let's take a look at your audition video. I am Michelle. Are your next home and family DIY star? But I need your vote. I've been blogging, DIYing my kids' birthday parties, YouTubing. I've been building furniture. I have made a backyard patio. Unique and quirky and useful crafts. Things that are good for kids and good for the environment, good for moms, and just good for community. Sharing my ideas and teaching others how to make beautiful things for their home is really what it's all about for me. When somebody who's not crafty comes up to me and says, I read your tutorial and I actually think I could make that. I melt. Home and family, my two favorite things in this world. And chocolates. Vote for me, you will not regret it, you guys. We will have so much fun making beautiful, doable crafts. Watching that makes me want to be your friend. Oh, we're friends. Yeah, yeah makes me want to be your friend. I love you, Michelle. And the camera makes love to you. You look amazing. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's true. So what's the story behind these? Okay, so um, when I had my second, when I had my baby, my older child, um, you know, I just didn't have enough time. Kind of like Kelly was talking about. You can't be everywhere at once. Yeah. yeah. You can't be everywhere at once. So I, I cloned myself. <laughs> um, you made a doll of yourself. I made a doll of myself, and actually, on the original, my daughter made the body, and we sewed it together, and she was able to, you know, stuff it and be a part of it as well. So then we just started oh, making. There she look is. At her. She's a little doll there herself. There she is with the original. Um, yeah, and so now my other, my baby has one too, and we just make them for friends. If you're going on a business trip and you wanna, you know, if you wanna oh, just like cry. leave one with your baby, so she has something to love and cuddle and kiss when you're gone. It's so or true. She can make one for you. Or when do you know what old. Alexandra does? Oh, my husband tells me this that she picks up the picture she says mama and kisses my picture <laughs> but this one you okay. know well we're going to print up this. that picture and we're going to yeah there what you go what do we use to draw on these fabric markers oh yeah. okay that makes sense it's super to easy to draw the bodies yeah well let's take a look and see you worked on this a little bit earlier today Oh yeah, walk so, us through this. There What'd you go. You, you can well, you can see all my supplies there. I printed up a picture of Christina on a piece of paper, and I cut out her head, making sure that I didn't mess up her pretty hairstyle there. So I just cut all the way around her. There she is. And then I put tape, and I taped her onto a piece of white paper, and that will become the background. Yeah, there she is. Leave room to make a body. Take a picture of that white piece of paper. There she is. And then oh, print that onto fabric paper. And fabric paper you can just pick up at any craft store. You can order it online. And that will become the front of our selfie doll. Peel off the backing and then heat it to set the ink. So just heat it with an iron for like one to two minutes. And then uh, dip it into cold water. It's just a process of setting the ink so that you can wash it when it gets dirty because your kid is going to get spaghetti exactly. fingers on it and drool on it. Yeah. So then just dry it off. And there you go. And then put it onto a piece of like pretty scrap fabric, anything you have lying around, um, and cut it out. You I know can that even go to the fabric store and ask for scrap fabric and they'll give exactly. it to you. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and then flip right sides together, cut off the excess, and then sew it all the way around, making sure to leave an opening in the bottom so you can stuff it. That's there you it, go. That's easy enough for me to make even, Michelle. I'm not kidding, and I'm not the best it, at crafting. Turn it inside out. You get a little hand puppet there. And then just stuff it with old stuffing or new stuffing, anything that's cuddly and squishy that you want to love and snuggle with. There you go. And then hand sew the bottom. I just love the way that hand sewing makes something look like it was made with love. You homemade, know? Yeah, yeah. Homemade, so. But what if you don't you sew? It was made with love. If you don't sew, don't stress. There's there's fabric glue for that. Oh. Okay, that so. sounds hysterical. Mermaid. Let me see yours. There you What's go. a mermaid? You know, I mean, you, you can't make mistakes. Wow. On oh, that is wow. Well, you have you have no legs. You just have arms coming out of your neck. <laughs> you know what? I find that very creative. Well like done. That? Now, can you do this with an old pillow as well? Yes, of course. I am can... right here. Who's oh, pulling can... an old pillow? <laughs> I, I, I am <laughs> right here, Mark. No, no. How I don't take it. Though. Entire family onto a pillow. I just took a throw pillow and printed up their pictures onto fabric paper and drew little hearts and things on them, and there you go. So, and this is completely washable, throw it in like Absolutely, yes. Throw it in the wash. You can pack it in your suitcase. And you I can... like that you put the stuffing in. You didn't put beans or anything like that that a baby no, could choke no, no, on. No, 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 yes, know? yes, yes. So how much does something like this cost? 
Okay, well, for a package of fabric paper, that's like uh, $16 or something, Le for less than a dollar, you can make one. Aww. Okay, oh, so gosh. they're so cheap. There's no excuse not to make them for everybody in your family. And it's priceless your for office. your baby. It really yeah, is. It really is, yes. And as they grow, you can, you can take different pictures over the years. That's nice. adorable.